What's up guys, MMA Game here bringing you another video. We're going to be doing some UFC 152 Vitor Belfort, John Jones uh, results. I'm just going to do the uh, main event. Uh, and if you want to know the other results of the fights, I will put them in the description, the whole results of the entire card. But I'm just going to go over the main event. If you guys did not see this fight, great fight. Jones actually got put in the came closest to losing this fight of any fight by far what happened was they come out trademark john jones comes out creeping around down on the uh ground like uh i don't know what that is but he does it a lot and he almost got smacked right in the head when he was uh doing that so that was kind of weird but then they kind of jones instantly closed the distance got the takedown and uh, just started getting into the trademark Jones elbows of death. I mean, just brutal elbows. Um, he has the best elbows, the best ground and pound by far in the UFC as far as I'm concerned. He, he's able to get so much damage done and cut his opponents. But anyway, what happened was he was getting some elbows, but he was in the guard. And um, Vitor actually threw up a pretty nice arm bar and actually locked it in. Uh, with both legs around, you know, the neck of Jones and started cranking this arm bar and it got to a point where I got pretty worried that Jones would actually lose. I'm a big Jones fan, but he almost, it looked like he actually got the arm bar. Like it looked like he popped his arm and turns out at the end of the fight, uh, Jones pretty much came out and said that in fact he did, his arm did pop. So, um, I'm pretty sure that just means like a dislocated arm or something. Either way, Jones said it was really painful. And what he did to get out of it was he actually picked him up, dropped him on his head, and just overall just did some damage and was able to wiggle his way out and escape the arm bar. But um, that was the closest Jones has come to defeat without a doubt. Besides that, there wasn't really anything big that Vitor landed. He did land a couple strikes here and there, um, you know, to the face of Jones, but they weren't anything, you know, super. They didn't really do any real kind of damage. The rest of the fight was just takedowns by Jones, elbows, elbows, elbows. He was throwing tons of front kicks to the knee, like, those front kicks where he just kicks him straight in the knee and just like hyper extends that knee and those were doing tons of damage um, he landed some jabs here and there the punching really wasn't he didn't land too many big punches the biggest strike he landed was a huge front kick to the body uh, right in the solar plex and it just hit him so hard that he backed up in he just couldn't deal with the pain. He just dropped to his uh, dropped to the ground, and was just really hurt. And then Jones comes up and actually throws an axe kick right to the same spot that he kicked him uh, with a front kick. That was that was just brutal. And uh, so it winds up getting into the. Uh, it was kind of the same story each round. It winds up going to the fourth round, and Jones takes him down yet again, throwing elbows, but this time's able to get to the salvary crucifix position and just really puts in some big elbows fights about to get stopped at that point and then jones goes for the kimura and goes ahead and finishes the fight off vitor taps out jones finishes yet another fight i mean this guy does not like going to decisions <laughs> he finishes everybody he's just i don't know it, it is what it is with all the stuff aside from 151 he you can't deny the guy has got skills and i think the only guy who can really uh give him a give him a run is actually dan henderson but in the light heavyweight division or middleweight division who do you think has the best chance of beating jones for me it's dan henderson but let me know in the comments guys make sure to follow me on twitter and twitch tv and leave a like on this video till next time this has been mma game peace